Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey Galdames and today I will be discussing the thin client approach to software architecture. In software architecture, the debate between thin and thick client approaches has been ongoing for quite some time. So for this week's agenda, I'll be arguing in favor of thin client approach and explain the roles of server side and client side programming as well as the network load for this case. To start off, the primary distinction between the two clients lies in their reliance on network connectivity for data processing. Thin clients primarily rely on network connectivity for data processing and perform minimal tasks on their hardware. In contrast, thick clients can operate without a constant network connection and can handle a significant portion of the workload locally. In the thin client approach, most of the processing and business logic is handled on the server side, while the client side primarily focuses on rendering the user interface and handling user interactions. The server side programming is responsible for most of the processing and data storage. This includes tasks such as generating the web pages that users see, processing user input, storing data, and executing complex calculations. So this type of programming usually involves constant interactions with the server. While the client side programming is responsible for a much smaller task set of tasks, such as displaying the web pages, handling user interactions, rendering animations and graphics, which is easier on the user because it does not need to interact with the server overall. To further understand this, I will use Amazon as an example of how these programming sites function. On the server side, Amazon handles tasks like retrieving product details, calculating prices, and managing inventory. While on the client side, Amazon is responsible for rendering the product pages and handling user interactions through the user interface. The thin client approach has several advantages over the traditional thick client approach, where the client computer does most of the processing. These advantages include reducing network load, since the server does most of the reprocessing, the network load is much slower. This is especially important for applications that are used by many users like Amazon. Reduce hardware requirements. The client computer does not need to be as powerful as a thick client since it doesn't need to do as much processing. This makes it possible to use less expensive and less powerful computers. And lastly, it's easier to maintain. Since the server does most of the processing, it's easier to maintain the application. If there are any problems with the application, they usually are fixed on the server without having to update the client computers. One of the significant advantages of the thin client approach is its ability to reduce the network load. Since most of the processing happens on the server side, only data and lightweight user interface elements need to be transmitted over the network. This is especially crucial in scenarios with limited bandwidth or when dealing with mobile devices with potentially unreliable connections. For example, when you watch a movie on Prime Video, the client or personal device sends commands to the Prime Video servers. These commands are things such as play, pause, or rewind. The server then streams the video content to the client's device, ensuring a consistent and high quality viewing experience. This approach minimizes the amount of data sent to the personal device, making it efficient even on slower networks. By offloading most of the work to the server side, thin clients simplify client side development and ensure a smoother user experience, even when poor connection is available. In conclusion, the thin client approach to software architecture offers a compelling solution for optimizing efficiency and reducing network load in today's digital landscape. By offloading most of the processing to the server side, we not only streamline client side development, but also ensure a smoother user experience, even in challenging network conditions. I hope you guys found this video informative and thank you for watching.